Welcome aboard everybody. This is a Cessna Cardinal 177RG 1976 model. And I know that when I was shopping for an airplane, I was scouring all over the internet for videos of the kind of plane I wanted to buy and the kind of avionics I was looking at getting. So I appreciated having those kinds of videos available. And I figured, you know what, maybe it's time for me to upload a basic simple video just to show you some of the system in action. So what I'm playing with here, I'm working on my IFR, I don't have it yet, but I'm practicing using the avionics. So what I did now is I just put a fictitious waypoint over a lake about 40-50 miles away and I'm just sending it to the panel. So when I hit send from the iPad, the Garmin says, hey, message received, there's a new flight plan. I go, yep, that's what it is. I just went ahead and activated it and the autopilot as soon as I decide to engage the nav button uh, will go so I hit nav there you go and now the plane starts turning on course you'll see the purple boxes on the G3 and now we're navigating towards my waypoint what I also was playing around with here was the vertical navigation so I told the autopilot that I wanted to be at about 2100 feet by the time we got to that waypoint so it was doing a slow descent so the white lake you see straight ahead, I just told it that I wanted to hold on a 180 radial, uh, making right hand turn, so standard holding procedure, and you'll see that as we're navigating towards that fictitious waypoint, it already descended me to the 2100 feet that I wanted. The fact that we're approaching from the west, it's already drawn in a parallel entry, so you'll see on the 750 in the middle of the screen, we're approaching the parallel entry and now it's warning me that we're about to start our turn and first what it does is it takes us straight to the waypoint makes a left hand turn follows parallel outbound to make a turn and join back in and then start the right hand procedure so right now this is sped up at about uh, four times speed so you'll see the seconds are clicking by a little quicker and essentially this is complete autopilot I'm not touching a thing I haven't touched any controls in the last 20 minutes everything you're seeing here is being done by the three axis Garmin I do have the yaw damper installed and electric trim so the ball stays centered in all corners all turns doesn't matter the plane is like it's on rails um, so very very happy with how the Garmin GFC autopilot um, works here it's enunciating that it's going to start a turn to the reciprocal so it's starting uh, to turn me back and I'm monitoring it on the G3 on the iPad which is linked to the uh, Adhar system out of the Garmin and the 750 is showing also the whole holding pattern. So right now it's the Garmin 750 it's, um, talking to the autopilot and commanding all of the turns. So right now it's starting to head us back towards 180 but we're on that outbound leg as you can see on the map so it needs to bring us back in so it's going to continue this turn and it will be established on the hold in a few minutes so you'll see here that it's starting to head me back towards the waypoint but we're kind of cutting it in an angle so that way we can now start doing a right hand turn the way it's supposed to Here seeing the autopilot enunciate that it's now turned to 180 and right about here as we cross that waypoint will be officially established on the hold. Uh, you can't really see it in this shot but at the bottom of the 750 um, there is a suspend and unsuspend button so basically right now the plane is doing automatic holding patterns now we're heading outbound and you can specify if you want one minute legs two minute legs or you can specify a distance or time, and you can specify a direction. So right now I'm just watching on the iPad what it's doing on our flight track. And it's basically established in a holding pattern, and the plane's going to keep going like this until I tell it to unsuspend. At the end of each leg, the plane will enunciate uh, on the uh, 750 what it's doing. So right now it's taking us back uh, towards the south and it's going to be completing our first holding leg and we'll be back on the 180. So it just announced we're turning on to 180.
So at this point, I shut off the autopilot and I started heading us back home to do an evening flight back to our home base. Here it's nighttime, but I'm seeing an ADSB target up ahead, so there's no conflict, but there's a plane coming up. And now we're coming in to turn downwind off of uh, runway one. And here we are turning to uh, join downwind for our local airport. Gear's coming down. I have a hydraulic pump running light, which is that orange light you saw glowing. I uh, enabled visual approach for the runway we're coming in. And you'll see on the top of the dash the angle of attack indicator by Garmin it is starting to come alive because now I'm within the range of operation, which is around 85, 90 knots. It comes to life. Beyond that, it just shuts off. And um, I've been very happy with the angle of attack indicator. It's a very helpful tool to know exactly how much wing loading you're doing rather than have a stall horn that goes off only when you're stalling or just about to stall. This thing comes alive way ahead of time. It's very unobtrusive. It shows up on the G3 display as well, but normally on a, a final approach, you kind of got your head out the window and you're looking straight ahead. So having that uh, preferably uh, on the peripherals, it's just great to see. Now I'm back to just real time playback. I was a little high, so I was doing a bit of a side slip to come in there, I'm bleeding off a little bit of altitude. And as you'll see, as I'm slowing down even more, the angle of attack is now glowing yellow. And I'm starting to load the wing just a bit more because I've slowed down and I'm pitching just about ready to flare. Already the angle of attack is kind of telling me that's it, no more pitch up, but that's right about where I want it at this point. And it'll kind of beep till I descend speed till about 65 knots and then it just shuts off again. And that's it folks. Thanks for riding along. Hope you enjoyed the demo.